Since early on in the, in the pandemic, there have been battles all over this country, in Wisconsin, in New York, in Michigan, in Florida, in Georgia, over mask mandates and lockdowns and businesses being closed that, that just seem to continue on. A few weeks ago in Wisconsin, the state Supreme Court there overturned the governor's power to lock people down and shut businesses. In Michigan, the state Supreme Court there on Friday struck down as unconstitutional scores of executive orders put forth by Governor Gretchen Whitmer. But she didn't skip a beat. In fact, she turned over the authority to mandate masks and gatherings and to keep bars and restaurants regulated and closed in many cases. She turned it over to the health department in the state, uh, making an end run. And then last night released this video on social media. Look. But I won't let partisan politics get in the way of doing what's necessary to keep people safe and save lives. To protect our most vulnerable residents and frontline workers, the Department of Health and Human Services will issue epidemic orders to maintain our statewide mask mandate and limitations on gatherings. The CDC and public health experts agree these measures are crucial to slow the spread of the virus, to protect our frontline workers and keep our schools and small businesses open. In fact, some of the restrictions now are more strict and stringent than those that were struck down as unconstitutional by the courts on Friday. Joining me now is Catherine Henry. She is the attorney that successfully argued in front of the Michigan Supreme Court that the laws that were being relied on to keep emergency orders in place were not constitutional. Catherine, welcome to the program. Good to have you. Thank you. Now, the governor didn't waste much time at all going to her department heads. Now, my question to you is this. Um, basically, the governor has snubbed her nose at the Supreme Court and saying, well, okay, we're not going to worry about that. In fact, they're going all the way back to a 1918 law is the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services to reissue these directives, these rules, these lockdowns. Some of them like if you're in a gathering of two or more outside, you have to have a mask on outdoors. Where would you like to begin, Catherine? It's all very um, infuriating for people in Michigan. It is. Um, yeah, so the state Supreme Court was very clear when they um, ruled on Friday that the governor was violated, not the governor, but the entire uh, EPGA, the 1945 law, violated the separation of powers clause of our state constitution. That's Article 3, Section 2. And uh, by her issuing any kind of orders that uh, require people to wear masks when they're in public or to be socially distant from each other or to um, have restaurants that have capacity or any of those things, those kinds of uh, restrictions upon people are her exercising a legislative type of authority. And therefore, they said, that directly violates Article 3, Section 2 of our state constitution. So the fact that she then says to the people, well, first of all, she said, well, no, uh, I have 21 days to keep having my orders, even though they're unconstitutional. That's a load of garbage. Uh, so then I think enough people <laughs> realized that was a load of garbage, and she had no legal authority to even say that, that she then tried to do these orders. Uh, in fact, the video that you showed, you should have showed the really great parts where she's lying to people saying that the court said she didn't break any laws at all and that she was, in fact, uh, following the law uh, very specifically. Uh, she's, well, here's what uh, I want to know, Catherine, because this is important. The important part of this is it's not just Michigan, but we're seeing these challenges all over the country to these COVID lockdowns and restrictions. And COVID restrictions by any other name appear to be the same. So my question to you in Michigan, specifically on this case, uh, the Department of Health and Human Services falls under the governor in the executive branch. So she's just deferring to her deputies to put in the same rules, the same lockdowns, the same restrictions that have done tremendous damage to businesses, uh, have kept schools closed in much of the state, have caused people to have all of these changes in their lives, disruption. Um, and I understand the concerns over the virus, but that doesn't disregard constitutional protections, does it? No, and, and like you pointed out, um, uh, uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but it says on this order, Gretchen Whitmer, and over here, the director, Robert Gordon of the Department of Health and Human Services. So yes, uh, he is in fact in her department. There's no denying that. 
Um, he's not some sort of separate, distinct entity or distinct branch of government. Um, and regardless of, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not saying people aren't dying from COVID-19. I'm not saying that the immunocompromised shouldn't be, you know, very cautious and careful, especially as they would be with flu season starting. Uh, or anything of that nature. If you're going through chemo treatments or have some sort of big surgery coming up, you need to make sure that you're being careful with your health, absolutely. But it is your choice whether or not you want to wear a mask. It's your choice if you want to go into uh, bigger you know, bigger settings, uh, bigger crowds. If you don't want to do that, there's all kinds of services that have become available to people so that they can stay in the safety of their own homes and have items or services delivered to them. So uh, the Constitution is very clear. We have rights. In fact, you can look at our Michigan Constitution, Article 1, Section 23, or the United States Constitution, which is uh, the Ninth Amendment. We have unenumerated rights, which are just as important and to be just as protected by our government officials as all of the other rights. So do we have well, to how, list out? How concerned we should we be? Well, how concerned we should, be should we be, concerned. Catherine, as, as we look at what's happening in Michigan? It's also Cuomo in New York, Murphy in New Jersey, Evers in Wisconsin, Wolf in Pennsylvania, Brown in Oregon, all of these heavy-handed blue state Democrat governors having no mercy on their citizens. I mean, the, the death toll in Oregon is something like 300, and they've got 4.5 million people, and yet uh, Governor Brown there continues to lock everything down with an iron fist. Whitmer in Michigan disregarding everything the Supreme Court said. She doesn't seem to be too concerned at all about it. She just moves to the next step and re-implements, leaving citizens completely confused. And by the way, the new orders handed down uh, yesterday by the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services uh, come with $1,000 fines and six months in jail if you irritate the wrong group of people. It, it's unbelievable the amount of things that can happen here. Uh, they actually come with a $200 fine, but nonetheless, it's it's still fine. So, uh, and six months in jail is absolutely on the table there for that that order. But um, you're the right. Thing the is, civil infraction laws, is a thousand dollars. The criminal infraction which, is two hundred and six months. The civil infraction is a thousand dollars. So you could end up with both. Uh, yes, and the, well, this order, yeah, they're ha hammering on the. Uh, uh, the civil infractions are ones that were from his prior order, but he's incorporating those prior orders in. Absolutely. So. Yeah, we do need to be very afraid because let's say, you know, you're talking about the, the logistics of how low the numbers are for COVID deaths, and you're correct about all that. But let's say this was the bubonic plague and half of our population was going to die. Does that change the constitutional framework upon which our government was founded? No. It does it limit any of our constitutionally protected God-given liberties. No, the government didn't give us those freedoms. The government cannot simply just take them away, even in times of pandemic, even in times of emergency, even in times right. of utter chaos. Yeah. We have a right. And Catherine, to before be able we to leave, fresh air. Yeah. And, and, and I appreciate that. We've got about 15 seconds. Uh, the Supreme Court of Michigan ruled the governor doesn't seem to care. What can you do about it? You've got 15 seconds. Uh, I will be definitely uh, filing another motion with the Michigan Supreme Court in response to what Governor Whitmer is doing. And everyone else in Michigan just needs to go about their lives because these orders have no legal effect against them whatsoever. Catherine Henry, greatly appreciate the work you've done in the courtroom, and thank you for being here on Real America's Voice on America's Voice Live on this Tuesday. A quick break, and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 